Hi there, how are you all doing out there? I am Nayama Israel, the Power and Purpose Coach, Spiritual Leader, and Motivational Speaker. My mission is to guide women into their creative purpose by their power within to walk in their full potential, creating a legacy of abundance for their children and their children's children. Yes, <laughs> it is good to be back before you all and it's a challenge being here before you. As my pregnancy progresses, I am becoming more and more tired and fatigued and just have no energy. But I'm pushing through, so I want to get these parts out to you all about accomplishing goals, setting goals, and once you have set your goal, how you uh, will put them into action, take the steps to put them into action. And let me let you know, me, myself, you know, I have just recently accomplished a goal that was personal to me and all <laughs> broke loose, all heck broke loose out of nowhere. All hell broke loose, okay? And you know what? I stuck with it. I stayed with it. And I just kept progressing and believing that even though I have these obstacles and I have these challenges, I can still accomplish this goal to the best of my ability. So I have done that and I plan on setting more goals like such. Um, I did not, at this moment, I did not receive the type of, um, I guess, result I was looking for, but, you know, things are always hidden in plain sight. So, and things are invisible. It will become visible, as the word says. So, I will have that faith, hoping that whatever it is that I um, imagine will come into being in the physical. So, when you start off on your journey and you accomplish of accomplishing goals, we talked about setting goals on part one. Now, this is part two. Part two is taking the steps and acting on those goals. So, like I mentioned in my own story, um, I had to overcome obstacles to get to that goal along the journey. And it was hard. It was hard. And I am still in the midst of it being hard, although I accomplished the goal. Now, by me accomplishing the goal, I'm able to push myself more. But I have to be easy on myself and I have to realize that the condition is in the state that I am in at this moment, being with the child and I have three little ones, all five and under. So, you know, I have to be um, mindful of that and I have to be careful of that for my health and my unborn child's health is also so that I could be able to have enough energy <laughs> which I get drained from on a daily basis to take care of my three children. So, um, as I was saying, I have my own things going on in my personal life and um, just a lot of adversity and Nothing, nothing that I'm not used to because I'm used to adversity and not just adversity, but also overcoming adversity. So, um, I'm used to that too, but I, I don't want that to be something that always continues in my life. So I'm working on, um, making a better foundation for myself and my children. So, um, with that being said, you know, 
along the way of setting my goals, putting my goals, taking the steps and putting my goals into actions or taking action and do put and taking the steps, the small steps to act on my goals. Uh, that is the number. That's the number one in part two. So, the number one thing is to. The number one thing that you will will happen is that you will be met with challenges. You will be met with challenges when you are um, embarking on a journey of setting goals and acting on them. You may be met with challenges, adversity, and you know things that come up. That hinder you or are set up to hinder you from reaching the goal that you have at hand. So when you are met with those challenges, like me, I had to readjust. I had to readjust. You know, um, it started out, I was, it wasn't smooth. <laughs> it did not start off smooth by far, but... It started off where there was a level of norm normalcy for myself, but things began to become harder and more challenging. And then um, I it broke. Like I thought that it was already. I was already in a place of being uncomfortable, but I really had been put in a place of being uncomfortable, you know, just in my environment and just, um, you know, being in a place where I haven't been in years. So I hope to be able to share more of that with you on this channel, but um, for now, I just want to stay focus on this lesson on this message today so that you will be encouraged um despite anything that might come up that would is call is there to cause you to be off balance or to throw you off balance just so you can stay on balance it's okay to readjust it's okay if you even have to if in the midst of a goal if you even have to take a step back to, um, you know, just refocus and readjust and just figure things out, that is okay. It's okay to do that because that is part of the process. That is part of the process. And once you do that, you can always come back and get back on track. So, um... Just continue to push. So, number one was, you will be met with challenges. Number two is, you will need to, you know, do some readjusting. Do some readjusting. And then number three is that there may be a delay. And say like, on your course, on your timeline, that you see things. You know, you may have a vision board and you may have set a goal to have completed within a maybe 30 days to 90 days. And it may run over the deadline, but it's a delay. It's not a denial. It's not something that won't, will not happen ever. It just goes back into line with understanding that stuff happens you know and when stuff happens we have to readjust and there may be delays by readjusting but that doesn't mean that you have to give up just stay doing things that will keep you focused and geared on your mission on your goal and the reason why you set the goal in the first place you know what what is your why stick with why you are doing it in the first place and that will motivate you to continue on so i know i didn't mention this but just be and set your mind around positive thoughts positive actions and positive people to keep you going 
listen to positive um inspirational motivational videos like on the hem of the his garment with me i'm israel myself like on this channel and other channels youtube channels there are plenty of motivational videos out there to keep you motivated strengthened and encouraged so i hope this message has been able to enlighten you and encourage you and if it has and you are new to this channel go ahead and hit that like bell go ahead and hit that subscribe <laughs> bell and also hit the notification bell so that you will receive the notifications so subscribe hit the bell so that you can receive the notifications i'm getting it out clearly <laughs> go ahead and like the video and if you feel up to sharing share with your loved ones or someone who you might know who needs this type of encouragement so that they can continue on um on their journey and their path to reach their goals so thank you for tuning in with me i am Naima israel and you have tuned into the hymn of his garment and until next time take care of yourselves and each other